Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, now that we are back from Burnouts and Burgers, which I gotta say was an absolute blast, uh, Michael Hoff did a fantastic job of putting that together. I mean, he had like a little con concession stand area for getting your burgers and hot dogs and stuff. Um, he had a table set up inside of his barn for all the other, you know, kind of, uh, you know, celery and broccoli chips, stuff like that, and drinks. Um, you know, little vendors out there that had, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that. I mean, it was just awesome. He did a really, really good job. So now that we are back in North Carolina from Ohio, uh, it is time to finally fix that awful, awful whining noise in that rear end. All right, we're on the highway. So I'm going to take this thing up to the shop that I work at, stick it on the lift, and spend the next, I don't know, four or five hours, something like that, rebuilding that rear end again. So we're going to ditch that used ring and pinion, and here in just a minute, I will show you what is going into it, and uh, then we'll try to get it knocked out today. Now that we're at the shop, I've got the car pulled into the bay there on the lift. And then I have all of the new parts laid out here on my box. So we've got the uh, third member gasket, the bearings, uh, seals, the spacer, um, you know, the new little back bearing that goes on the back there. And then the pinion support spacers. And then of course the new ring and pinion. So this is uh, from Quick Performance. It's a, uh, let's see, 389 gear, so the 8620 uh, metal or whatever. So hopefully this will be a lot better than what I've got. Um, you know, it's set up for more like the street anyways. So uh, it's going to be a long day doing all this. So let me go ahead and get this uh, lifted up and then uh, we'll take a quick look underneath the car and then I'll start getting the rear end taken apart. Okay, so now she's lifted up. So let's check some things out here. Uh, I'm losing some fluid out of this vent here. I'm gonna have to put a hose on there so it quits doing that. It's just getting all over the place. This axle seal over here is leaking a little bit too, which kind of sucks. But uh, overall, she's not looking too bad. Um, one thing that does kind of suck is we're getting that infamous, infamous Grand Prix rust all along this rocker, so. You know, she probably doesn't have much much longer in her as far as that goes because it's starting to get pretty bad. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, let's see where the exhaust scrapes the ground because it hangs down so low. I'm going to have to do something about that cross member to keep that from happening. But yeah, overall not too bad. So uh, let's go ahead and start getting this rear end taken apart. We have to take the axle shafts out and then we can remove this whole third member here and uh, get it on the bench to start working on it. So let's get at it. So the Axle seal that's leaking on the other side over there, the driver's side. It, it's one of those seals, of course, that nobody has, and I'd have to run around and find one, whatever. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get as far as we can rebuilding the rear end and getting that done. And then I might try to run around and find one of these. Um, it's this weird ASA seal number, you can't really see it, but um, I'm gonna replace both if I can find two of them. So let's get the third member out of there and then we will get that all kind of finished up, hopefully. If we have enough time, we'll go run and get a seal. I'm not gonna remove these seals because that one's still holding the oil in the, in the rear end. Just kind of 
spitting out a little bit at a time. So if I don't have time to run and get one today, I can order one and then we can replace these later. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to put it back together and take it back apart, but I don't want to be stuck on the lift. So let's get that third member out of there. got that out we can get it torn down here on the bench um, you know the teeth on this thing they're a little torn up but they're not really that bad so you can tell that it's kind of out towards the outer edge there so either way let's get this all disassembled so we can start getting it repaired here All right, I'm gonna take a little intermission here because man, it is hot and this is a lot to do. So, um, got the pinion support ready to go, new races put in it. I've got the pinion itself ready with that bearing. Uh, the other one is floating around here somewhere, but it'll just go on there and then we'll put it in here and we gotta get that preload set on that. So, we're gonna do that with a new one of these. Got these little these little shims that go inside of here to shim it out. So, anyways, I am going to chill out for just a minute, let my gimbal and other phone charge there, and then uh, we'll get right back at it and try to get it finished up here. Oh yeah, driving the old Pontiac Aztec. Uh, I went ahead and ran to get my my seals. Hopefully these are right. I don't think they are. Whatever. Like I said, we'll put it back together without the driver's side seal being replaced. Um, if I have to, I'll just get one. It'll leak a little bit, but you know, it, it, I don't want to not have the car back together because we got to get back to work on Monday. So the car's going to be out of the shop. So I'm going to get as far as I can tonight when I get back. And then if I don't get it done tonight i'm gonna come back in in the morning and finish it up so i'm gonna drive back right now get back there get to work and then uh, hopefully get it done so we'll see what happens So I went off camera a little bit and worked on this for a minute, but uh, we now have the third member all ready to go. I've got the new um, axle seals in. They did work. Um, unfortunately, they're Duralast brand, ew, but they're in there, so ought to do the trick. And then I have this all cleaned and ready to go. So let me get this tossed in here and then, uh, you know, we'll see what it does. So I got to basically do the opposite of what we did earlier i'm not going to do a time lapse i'm just going to get it in really quick and then uh i'll get back with you here in just a minute take it down the road and see what it sounds like all right so here we are about 
45, 46 miles an hour. Typically, it would be really bad at this speed, so, so far, so good. Got like a little bit of noise coming from back there, but not too awful. Get it up a little bit higher here. All right, so I just got back to the house and I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, it's got a tiny, tiny bit of wine to it, but nothing that I'm really concerned about right now. Uh, there's a lot of people out there, oh, I shouldn't have any wine at all. I get it, yeah. But first of all, this rear end is an absolute pain in the butt to take out, so that way I can readjust anything. But as far as building it goes, we have proper preloads, we have proper pattern, we've got proper backlash, everything's set up properly. So I can only assume that this noise is coming from sound transfer with the way that the rear suspension set up and how I have these frame rails hooked directly to the torque boxes and so on and so forth. So if it gets any worse, we'll revisit it. We'll go back to it and we'll try it again. It is what it is. That's what you get when you're doing something like this. Uh, I've rebuilt plenty of stock units and never had a wine issue. It just so happens that this one's just giving me a, a hard time. It must be because it's my personal car. That's usually how those things go. So if you're still here with me, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so that way you know the next time that I post a video. And uh, I promise you, we're gonna be getting into more and more exciting things as we go along here. I do have a fuel cell issue that I have to fix. We'll discuss that on the next video. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.